So I got everything on the amp. The amp sounds good when I'm connected to um, other speakers, but these speakers seem kind of, I mean, part of it is they're in a weird box, but um, I'm going to look at that coupling capacitor that uh, is just, that goes to the treble and take a look at that and see, uh, I'm going to replace it, but they're bipolar, so it should be a little bit interesting. All right, that looks pretty good. So on this one, I was a little bit smarter. I just took this bracket off completely and put the terminal block to here. That looks a lot nicer. So I think I got the amp working pretty well. And now the speakers sound really good for what they are. So I'm going to start looking at the turntable and uh, the turntable does spin a little bit. Um, you can kind of get it going. Yeah, but I think it just needs to be cleaned up and so that's what I'm going to start doing. Yeah, it looks like we got a bearing race down there, and then that washer goes on top of it. I'm just going to clean this up with a little alcohol. Just oiling up the motor. Maybe oil this just a tad. So here's the phono cartridge. It's an A Static 133, and um, so I'm just looking up the specs on it's it. From the and this uh, is from A Static Canada uh, website, and uh, it shows it shows a reference for all the A Static uh, phono heads and. Um, so if I go to 133, uh, right here, it's really hard to read, I, but um, let's see, 133, it's an Admiral Zenith, uh, the needle is N50, um, ceramic, half a volt, uh, 4 to 6 grams, and uh, 20 hertz to 15 hertz and uh, 33 to 45 RPM on it. So our tracking is 4 to 6 grams. So let me just, I don't know, this seems like kind of an imperfect way to do it, but yeah, 4.5. So I'm going to try uh, increasing it a little bit. A little bit too much. I 
Okay, so I'm just going to leave it there. That seems pretty good. So I'm just playing a record here. I just wanted to see what the voltage coming out of the uh, ceramic cartridge head is. And um, looks like it. I'm going to hold on, Let's go. Uh, Let me just let the scope persist it. So it looks like it gets as high as like a volt and a half peak to peak. So I've got my little paper stroboscope on there and it looks like the minus two on the 33 um, somewhat steady so it looks like it's a little bit slow um, yeah so it looks like it's a little bit slow I'm not sure what you really do about that I've cleaned everything up so as I mentioned earlier this plug actually shorts the two contacts together when there's nothing plugged in seems a little odd but okay but then when you plug in the the jack then it spreads those apart and um, I put a little shrink tube in there to insulate it but there was like a little piece of um, uh, I don't know what it was but an insulating material in there earlier but I'm gonna change this out I don't I'm not that fond of that and um, so I got these guys here and I don't want a full-size jack necessarily but I think I'm gonna put uh, a grounding plug in here and I'm gonna put that in there and I'm, we do have a little bit of a problem of getting the, uh, the, the jack to fit in here but um, I'm gonna see what I can do there okay so I soldered these guys onto the end and um, and then here I have a uh, jack usually used for input but that shorts across here to here. So I jumpered here to here and have my input here. And then when I put this in, then it opens up, we should get sound. And it should work the same way as that other one, but um, I think it's gonna work a lot better. And I like, I like having this for a speaker instead of that RCA jack anyway. And so then the little plugs that go into the speakers, I drill those out and um, so then you can put this, put that like that. And uh, that should fit into the speaker just fine. So this is the, the base for the phonograph. And uh, it's busted right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some epoxy and put it in here. That won't be enough to hold it, although it's all going to be screwed down. So it's not the end of the world, but still. And then I'm going to put some... Uh, strips of wood and epoxy them into here. And I think that should take care of that. I have some room to kind of build this out a little bit, so I'm going to do that because it has to be flush along the bottom and flush along the top.
So there's our repair. I know it's all going to be hidden, but it does feel kind of strong. And then I just drilled that hole out again, and uh, it's kind of filled with epoxy. But um, yeah. Just an old sweet song keeps Georgia. So that's the repair. I um, wasn't too bad. I had to replace uh, a couple of tubes and uh, mess around with those jacks and change those around. Um, replace the power supply capacitors and just the kind of standard things you would expect to fix on a device uh, from 1961. Uh, but it sounds pretty good. The speakers are a little bit boxy sounding. Uh, when I hook it up to my regular lab speakers, it sounds like a million bucks. So. Um, be that as it may, I think there's a hipster out there uh, waiting for the stereo and uh, we'll enjoy it quite a bit. Alright, if you liked the video, please uh, hit the like button and uh, please subscribe. Thank you.